Hey and welcome to another video from Movie Soundscapes. Uh, today I'd like to uh, just do a short video because basically I've learnt today from uh, Waxworks Records because uh, I sort of tried to keep up with their site that they're releasing the soundtrack to My Bloody Valentine, a 1981 horror film, the horror slasher, um, that was very... Uh, I don't know if dear to my heart is the right word, but um, as I was growing up, I was heavily into slasher movies and I've always liked um, um, My Bloody Valentine. But the score I've never seen released. Um, I haven't researched it fully. It may well have been released at some time. I'm not entirely sure. I know there's clips of it from, on YouTube. and um, But it's by Paul, a composer called Paul Z Zazar. Not even sure if that's how you say his name, but it's spelled Z-A-Z-A. -Z -A. So I called him Paul Zazar. And from what I can see on his filmography, or sorry, sorry, uh, discography, I suppose you'd call it, uh, he um, worked a lot with the director Bob Clark. And Bob Clark um, directed, for example, uh, things like Porky's and Black Christmas, uh, and also famously um, A Christmas Story, one of the most sort of beloved American Christmas films ever. And Paul Cesar indeed did the music for. Christmas Story. I don't think he did Black Christmas, but he did do uh, um, he did do A Christmas Story, and indeed, amongst other things, he's done My Bloody Valentine. Now, I've always liked the score from My Bloody Valentine, so the fact that it's coming out from Waxworks Records on vinyl is is brilliant news. Um, I have got a lot of uh, Waxworks releases prior to this. Um, I've got all the Friday the Thirteenth films they've released from Harry, of course, the great scores from Harry Manfredini. And as well as a few others, Day of the Dead, um, Creep Show, Shopping Mall, quite a lot. So I shall be trying to pick this one up. Um, money situations mean I might not be able to do it straight away. So whether I miss out on it, I'm not sure. But the great thing about Waxworks is they're not shy about putting uh, sort of highlights or teasers or quite a bit of music actually from the soundtrack on their SoundCloud site. And that's exactly what they've done. So they've put, I think it's something crazy like 30 minutes or two large chunks of music anyway from the My Bloody Valentine soundtrack and I've been listening to that just before doing this video and it's it just sounds great and it just reminds me of the that great sort of tense low budget music that was done for these films so you usually it was a lot of string instruments well I say a lot I mean it was a very small array of string instruments that and, and woodwinds obviously that would try to uh, you know do all the scary atmospheric moments for the for films like that and Friday the 13th Harry Manfredini had a lot to do with setting the groundwork for those uh, rather than it being a sort of synthesizer type score that that became quite popular as well from the likes of Rick Wakeman and John Carpenter um, the other way to go was to do a small uh, string ensemble and and that's what um, that's what they did for my bloody Valentine, but it is quite exciting. Um, the I'm just hoping that uh, it's a good pressing from Waxworks. Um, you know, with vinyl stuff, you're never 100 percent sure what the pressing is going to be like. Uh, I won't want to. I don't want to go into details about some of the bad pressings and good pressings I've had. At least not in this video. Um, I may well do that in another one. But let me know your thoughts on uh, my bloody Valentine if you've seen the film. But more importantly. What do you think about Paul Zazar's score? If you can remember the score from the film, tell me if it's been released before. I'm not entirely sure if it has been released on on, on like CD before. I, uh, maybe I should have researched that before doing this video. <laughs> but anyway, I did this video very quickly. So, but um, but that's another you know a good score, uh, uh, exciting news, um, and hopefully if money money allows, and I'll be buying that one. Um, of course, Waxworks. Um, are constantly working on trying to get great film scores or some unknown film scores out there so um, they're a label well worth following uh, so some of their releases are often um, also released on soundtrack or already available on CD sometimes they're later released on CD which is the case for their Day of the Dead soundtrack La La Land Records released the CD Waxworks released the um, vinyl anyway great news about my Bloody Valentine uh, let me know your thoughts and um, I'll see you again real soon Till next time, take care.